My life is so busy all the time. You just leave the house for the day. Anything can happen. I'm Naomi Shimada. I'm a model, um, an author. I always like to refer to myself as a neophyte, as someone that's constantly learning new things. <laughs> I was born in Japan, but I live in London. Japanese people, the one way we really express ourselves is with clothes. We, maybe we don't emotionally, but we dress in a way that is an extension of, of ourselves or the people we want to be. It's ingrained into the culture. So fearless dressing has been something that I've done since I was born. I would describe my style as colorful, fun, and bold, and playful. To me, when I get dressed, is that whatever I put on can help me see through the day. So that it's functional, it's practical, it's comfortable, but it's fun. Like, it has to be fun. I don't want to compromise on that. A typical day for me can be so varied. A lot of my day is structured around just what I have in my schedule. Doing press and events and doing talks or panels. I have a few check-in meetings. So I meet my agent, my publicist, go to my publishing house. So then I'll work from home usually. Sometimes I'll have a new article to write or I'll just catch up on my global admin. <laughs> my big to-do list with things to just get. Lists are the key to everything. I've always worn whatever I wanted. So it might not be exactly how I look like now, but it was always experimental. Sometimes someone will sit across the train with me and just like smile and I'm literally like looking behind me to see if there's something going on behind me, but it's me they're smiling at because I'm literally dressed like a three-tier gelato. <laughs> I live near a park and especially when on days that I've been writing, just to have that space, that mental space. We already live in such an urban environment. We need some kind of balance and parks really are able to provide that. I love to do a grocery shop. That's like how I feel organized. If my fridge doesn't look good, I'm like, God, my life's really falling apart. <laughs> Nobody ever really talks about how lonely it is to write a book. As people, all we want to do is like connect with other people, you know. Most of my ideas are all workshops with my friends and my family before they come into fruition. And socializing also brings me joy and that's what feeds, feeds me, feeds my soul and makes it all worth it. So there's so many times in my life where I wanted things to happen and it was the wrong time. My advice to anyone trying to do anything is just to be patient.